What's up, guys? Welcome back to Ride the Bean. Hello. I am here with uh, Jonathan. Um, if you saw the last episode on the channel, um, you may have been wondering what what was going on at the at the end there. Hey, 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 hey. Um, so I thought I would just give a little bit of a recap and an explanation for the situation that we we ended up in. Because it was a very unpleasant situation. It happened on uh, New Year's Eve because uh, I have been back in Norway during December working at the Christmas market and um, I flew back to France uh, on New Year's Eve. I was supposed to land pretty early uh, but because of thick fog uh, everything was delayed and um, then the people I was going to stay with uh, were put in quarantine because of Corona and so I had to find a new place to stay. So I reached out to Jonathan that you may remember from uh, from some of the previous episodes when I arrived in the south of France um, and asked if he <laughs> if he had a couch for me and uh, luckily he did and he invited me for um, for New Year's dinner with his family and his brother and uh, that was really nice yeah it was getting really dark and it was the thick fog so he came and um, met me halfway between Nice and Pelissan yeah. where he lives and we rode the the last bit together but then right before we uh, came to his mom's house where we had dinner um, in a in a city called uh, Salon, Sa Provence. Salon de Provence yeah we were sort of assaulted by a group of random people yeah must uh, must have been uh, the kid people it's a kid kids yeah this is your uh, this was your regular Go it's my uh, yeah. You have uh, for going to my mom and my work. Uh, you have two roads uh, for get out of the and get out of the town, uh, and it's the most fastest way this road to get out. And uh, yeah, it's my regular road to to going to work. So. And you've never experienced anything like that uh, on on this place, never. No, but everything close to that thing, mm, yes. Yeah. To recap, what happened is uh, so when we when we arrived in into Salon, um, it was a, it was a lot of, of, of fog because of, of the fog, and at the same time there was a lot of smoke because of fireworks or I don't know what yeah. what it was. Uh, they, they, um, they, they they put fire on the on the trash. Is a regular thing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if it's not the, the trash, it's the car. We have the same thing and it's a big deal in France. Uh, th this happened a lot with uh, the fire with the car. Uh, in, in big city in general. And uh, most of the time in uh, Strasbourg. Hmm. It's uh, very common in this big city. Yeah. So. so basically that was, that was the, the setup to the thing. So we were riding into the city. And uh, this, I didn't really understand what was going on. I was in a completely different state of mind and we were almost where we were going. You are tired? Yeah, I was tired. I've been traveling for 20 plus hours. And I just saw a group of people uh, in the streets and it was New Year's Eve. So I was like thinking they were celebrating and singing and dancing like that, that would be a normal occurrence. Uh, but then they, they ran into the streets and I saw they, they uh, surrounded Jonathan and then they forced you off the bike, or tried to force you off yeah. the bike. He speak to me, uh, uh, get out of the bike, get out of the bike, and I don't move, but uh, yeah. And then they took your phone? Uh, it's after, when you fall. Okay. Uh, I'm occupied at this moment, because the guy took my phone and ran away at this moment. Right. When you black out. So, uh, yeah, Jonathan was stopped, and tri they tried to force him off the bike. And then, in my head, I, was, I didn't really understand what was going on. And it, it happened so fast, it was like a split second. And uh, I saw this guy just walking beside me. Uh, and suddenly, like everything went black. They, they hit me in the head with some tool or I don't really know what it was. But uh, I, they hit me so hard that like, I blacked out for a second and then uh, I got scared and then they kept hitting me in the back and in the side 
And then they kept kicking me in, in the feet and then pulling on my suit. Uh, and so I got really scared and, and freaked out and I sort of punched back and I hit one of them in the chin. Uh, and then they pulled me even harder and I tried to, to get away, but they pulled me off the bike. And as I was sort of starting to accelerate, they, they pulled me off the bike and um, I fell and I blacked out for another like four or five seconds. Uh, at first, I think to, to do the same thing, uh, uh, immediately when the guy stopped me, I think about, okay, now I uh, avoid this guy uh, by the left, accelerate, but I think uh, if this guy just punched me uh, when his foot on his leg or whatever, uh, I fall down and I know and I don't want to fall, so... Uh, shit, I guess, I stopped. Yeah. And so I, I blacked out uh, for yeah, a few seconds. Um, and I think that's when things changed. Yeah, uh, exactly. Um, uh, at the beginning, they, they are very um, aggressive. Uh, you, you saw in the video, uh, the, it, it's, it's free. The, the guy, the two, two guys hit you um, in the back. And they're very angry. You see in the video, the, on their face, it's not really for joking. Um, and when you black out, uh, another guy comes, another one, because uh, it's almost uh, a lot of kids. And uh, just this guy is maybe older, maybe our age, approximately. And uh, maybe more wise and calm. And when you black out, he immediately come uh, near to you. And he tell to the kid, uh, okay, now stop. And he freaked out. The, the kid freaked out uh, when you black out too. So I think the, the yeah, uh, like you say, the, the things change at this moment. And if you, if you have, don't experience that, uh, the, the things, continue uh, they, they would have escalated yeah, yeah yeah exactly yeah it's in a way it's <laughs> it's a good thing you <laughs> it's a good thing i blacked out <laughs> yeah it's uh, yeah i think and so everything like the attitude changed and they when i sort of came to myself again i i, I didn't really understand what was going on at first i was like looking around and it's like what just happened and um and then i i started getting really angry and uh, I probably didn't react the, the correct way it's like reacting with anger usually just uh, leads to more violence and more trouble but I, I like I was scared and I, I didn't I couldn't really see what was going on and was, we were surrounded by I don't know how many like 20 30 people yeah. or something yeah and uh, and I, I just I didn't understand the language and everyone was just yelling and screaming <laughs> and, uh, and so I was a little bit aggressive in my uh, my way of, of of talking and like I was just swearing and cursing and yeah uh, yeah but it's uh, the first question it's it's normal because you have it uh, and me, me no yeah they didn't hit you yeah, yeah they didn't hit me so it's it's completely different if I stay calm and maybe Maybe if I have the same experience, uh, I react the, the same way. And I have much uh, more time um, compared to you to stay calm and to see the, exactly the, the people. And, and I saw a lot of kids and uh, um, Get, getting angry, like like you say, it's 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 not the right right way to do. But it's things. completely normal. Uh, it's a nat natural reaction. Natural reaction because you are it. Yeah. I think it's just the uh, a uh, defense system. Yeah. And you don't <laughs> so what, what, yeah, when I came to myself, uh, I started cursing them out and uh, just I, I was I was a bit scared and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but then the, the older guy sort of helped me lift the bike up and everyone calmed down a little bit and they came back with your phone that they yeah. had taken? Because I asked him, yeah. um, a guy's a little one, 
uh, took my phone. Uh, if you know who it is, uh, please uh, tell, tell him like, yeah. to bring it back. Yeah, bring it back. Yeah. Um, and then after that, I, yeah, I, it, it was kind of okay. They, they let us just go. Yeah, and the, the oldest one says, uh, but it's not an excuse, but he says, uh, it's just kid. Yeah. Uh, you you hear you hear him in, in the video. Yeah. Did they, why did you attack me? That's kids. Kids. Uh, kids just attack people. <laughs> it just a it just kid. It's a new year, but yeah, it's not an excuse. I think. That. Yeah. This this was uh, for me. It, this was a, 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 a an important lesson to learn, and I, I'm kind of like now reflecting back on it. I'm kind of glad it happened the way it did in a way because now I am uh, a little bit more prepared for situations like this in the future like this could have gone a lot worse but since it didn't I can I can use it as a lesson for for next time so if a similar situation occurs in the future I am a little bit more alert uh, I, I try to think about everything as a lesson <laughs> as long as I survive I can learn from this, <laughs> the situation, the experience. M me as a Norwegian, I may be very naive, uh, but I'm used to living in a peaceful society. And I've seen on the news a lot, like news from France and uh, a lot of violence and, and riots and stuff, especially outside of Paris and, and Marseille. Yeah, big cities. Big general. cities, yeah. yeah. But uh, I've never really, really, I don't think I've ever really understood w the severity of it until, until I was in the middle of the situation. So that's, that's, basically, that's basically what happened. Uh, a little bit more <laughs> elaborate than uh, in the previous video. Um, it kind of looked like just a completely random act of, of violence. And it, in one way it was, but it's not the first time something like this happens in the same neighborhood. I think we were just very unlucky with the, the timing yeah. and, and the, the place because it was New Year's Eve and people were a little bit rowdy like because of that uh, and it was very close to midnight it was about 10 maybe 10 10, yeah. 10 30 or yeah. something like that yeah. in, in the evening and then when we came back uh, you found a report or a, a news story yeah I, I saw to Kenneth I, uh, I showed to Kenneth uh, a lot of article of this neighborhood um, because uh, it's a, a war between a lot of gang uh, for a, a drug and often people die or policemen or whatever it's uh, getting hurt and be between them uh, for just a story of drug and uh, with uh, you you heard about Kalashnikov and drugs yeah, it was a, and stuff just, like that. Just two weeks ago, there was a, a Kalashnikov shootout in the schoolyard, in the same yeah the same place. Yeah. <laughs> These things are, are not things that I'm used to having to think about. But now, uh, now I am much more aware of this in the future. So it's it's really sad that these things happen. Um, it's part of the world, and it, I guess it's. These experiences are part of traveling the way I am at the moment. And I just have to be prepared for situations like this and not be so naive. But I guess uh, you live and you learn, right? Yeah. <laughs> <That's>, uh, <laughs> have you ever experienced these things before? Uh, yeah, but not on the bike and in this neighborhood again, uh, but uh, for the World Cup. <laughs> Yeah. Of uh, soccer, <laughs> football. <Yeah. laughs> um, because when people get uh, have fun again and they burn again uh, <laughs> a lot of stuff, and I'm in a car with a friend of mine, and he stopped every everyone passed uh, just in the, this neighborhood, and even in the center of the city. And in a car, you have the possibility to just accelerate and uh, not uh, pass through the people, but uh, to avoid them. And it's okay in a car, you are protected by the. Yeah. 
and in the back it's more difficult but I have the same experience yeah with the in the car in the car and in the, on the random walk too uh, you've been assaulted on random walks? yeah not very not assault but uh, a random guy says to me uh, uh, have you a cigarette something like that just it's always start like that. <laughs> have you a cigarette? I say uh, no, sorry, I have no cigarettes. And he start to annoy me with the little push and things like that. And he tried to hit me with uh, his leg. And after that, I'm getting angry. And just people saw around us show that thing. So and calm us. Yeah. So, it's, yeah. but I, I, and you, you saw, I react exactly with anger because I am hit at this moment. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, that's a, I'm, uh, I'm, I've been sort of reflecting on my own reaction in the moment. And uh, I know that reacting with anger is not the smartest thing uh, in a situation like that. But it's it's kind of hard to control because it's just adrenaline and like yeah you, you're scared and you don't know what's going on. Um, but I am aware that because I got angry and hit back, it could have gotten a lot worse. And if I didn't fall, I think it it may have gone a lot worse. Yeah, if we if we hit back at this moment, uh, it's getting worse. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's. Uh, so, all in all, I was pretty lucky. I uh, have uh, more experience, a <laughs> new life lesson. And yeah, let's just try to avoid these situations in the future. Exactly. <laughs> I hope you uh, uh, well, enjoyed it. I you probably not, didn't enjoy this video, but like, I hope you were informed or <laughs> whatever you want to call it in this video. So uh, if you want to see what we are up to, next because we have some interesting plans um, for the next few weeks yeah, uh, yeah. and things uh, are a little bit unsure uh, like the details but yeah yeah <laughs> we need to fix the details yeah we need to figure out the details but it, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be epic yeah i think and uh, i want to uh, say you to you i'm uh, i'm sorry for my in little English. The English is awesome. It's great. <laughs> I'm sort of cliche of France. <laughs> uh, French people, someone, uh, some French people speak very well English, <laughs> not as mine. <laughs> uh, but uh, I hope I improve my skill. Uh, yeah, I understand a lot more French now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, from zero to five words, so not that much more. But yeah. Practice is uh, practice makes perfect, I guess. Yeah. Well, yeah. If you want to see what we are up to, then <laughs> then uh, click subscribe and uh, ring the bell so you don't miss the next video. Yeah. And uh, I'd, I'd appreciate a like on the video. It helps us out or helps me out with uh, the algorithms. And I'll see you in the next episode. Peace. Peace.